Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we have another new artist alert for the channel. Yes, we're headed all the way back to 1976 to listen to A Te Vi Entre Las Luces by La Máquina de Hacer Pájaros. And that song title translates in English to Ah, I Saw You Between the Lights. And the band name translates to The Bird Making Machine. Really excited for this one. It comes highly recommended. And it's another band by Charlie Garcia, who is in, of course, Seru Hiran, which I've covered two songs already. Brilliant band, so I'm expecting brilliance here. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as the notification bell, to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. All right, here we go.
Wow, that was a lot. Blown away. I love songs that take you on journeys. This one is basically going to every single destination there is. I'm loving it. So much diversity, so much amazing instrumentation. Very overwhelming. Wow. Yeah, so much complexity in this one. Clearly, these are five brilliant musicians, and I'm loving what they're delivering here. Plenty of time to give me this amazing journey, more than 11 minutes. I love that warm keyboard introduction, setting the tone, a nice gentle start to the journey. It's going to be a grand journey. It already is so far. Uh, then we get the soft, gentle vocals of Charlie Garcia. Amazing. Way up in the register there. Really enjoying that. Looks like a lot of the vocals were at the beginning. I'm not sure if any more are going to come back at the end, but really cool. Wow. And then another cool moment was the gradual decrease in tempo. Really interesting. Something I don't hear too often in songs. Often when they change tempo, it just goes from one right to the other. But this one slowly slowed down and really nice there. This is a song with many interesting artistic choices and many uh, interesting change-ups, you know. Again, every destination, uh, all over the place, really interesting. We get, you know, soft and dreamy, and then we get this intense keyboard, guitars. They're giving us so many instruments, so many styles of those instruments. Pretty crazy, and I'm loving it. Uh, it's almost like a complex painting, you know, with all kinds of things going on. You don't know where to look. You don't know where to listen. I'm loving the amazing drumming and percussion by Oscar Moro. Really nice. Hearing the sounds I don't hear too often. These really cool percussion sounds. Intense drumming, super fast. Just so much to tantalize the brain, the ears. Wow. Then everything turns jazzy for a really long time. I was so into that section, just loving that feeling. It's like you're moving along with the song, you know, bouncing with the song. Those amazing uh, jazzy notes. Wow, just so much here. Really nice keyboard sounds along with those pianos. Uh, those are all done by Charlie Garcia and Carlos Gutaya. So really, really enjoying all this. Amazing journey I'm going on here. I'm glad I bought a ticket. And, you know, definitely getting more than I paid for. So let's go back and continue.
Wow, talk about a grand and climactic but very unusual ending there. Loved all those notes that they ended on. What a song, what a song. Uh, after my pause, we got some futuristic sounding music. That was a nice surprise. You know, that was a slow section, so I just savored it, soaked it all in. That was really cool. It almost sounded ahead of its time. This is like in the 70s we're talking, and so much brilliance happening here. Then it quickly switched to urgent and dramatic as some vocals came back in. So many sections in this song, but I love that they, you know, give it time to let the music breathe and unfold, reveal itself slowly, sometimes quickly, and just let us enjoy it, you know. They don't move on too quickly, you know. Each moment, they're not all the same length, but they're just the perfect length for what they're delivering, if that makes sense, and just loving it all. We even got a cool Pink Floyd style electric guitar solo. That was a real nice moment in the song, but really just so many small, special moments, interesting musical choices, uh, just too many to count. You guys get it. You guys heard it. I mean, there's guitars doing nice things. I heard bass doing nice, interesting things. Of course, all the keyboards doing great things. Uh, wow. Vocals even just too much to mention. So much to soak in in this 11 plus minute song. Wonderful. Okay, so I checked out the lyrics. A bit vague to me, open to interpretation, but I think it's about two close friends or lovers waiting to reunite. They are far apart, and therefore one must travel a great distance to see the other. The moment their eyes meet is a priceless treasure. That's what I got out of it. Yeah, just a stellar song, a stellar composition, and stellar delivery by all five. This one's clearly getting the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, for A Te Vi Entre Las Luces by La Máquina de Hacer Pájaros. Thank you so much, Charlie Garcia, Gustavo Basterica, Carlos Cutaya, Jose Luis Fernandez, and Oscar Moro. Okay, es todo. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this amazing song or anything by this band. Would love your feedback. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past. Adios.